This is a prehistoric world. With carnivores, herbivores, attack strategies and everything. T-Rex is eating a Carodontosaurus that he found lying down dead in his tracks. A Triceratops is bashing through the bushes. But the baby, on the other hand, is having a hard time keeping up to his mother. But there's a main character that we really want to introduce you to. Ankylosaur. With a bulbous club on the end of its tail. This wasn't always an easy meal. Egg. Finally, the mother triceratops has laid the egg. Meanwhile, the ankylosaur is just dusting the, the plants with its club. But then, something terrible happens. Dun, dun, dun. T-Rex bashes through the bushes. The Triceratops okay. shriek in terror. They're you go really having close. in a line of rings. <laughs> the T-Rex can't get them, so he walks away, D-head. But he didn't give up. <laughs> T-Rex gets one last bite out of the Carcharodontosaurus. The T-Rex could defeat an Ankylosaur. Clean off. Well, maybe he could look after itself rather better than you might imagine. The battle arena is on. Mm. These, here is the map. T-Rex coming into prey item. These guys getting ready for action in Copreus. And Kylosaur, through the bushes, is just dozing off. Closer. The hunt is on. Can the baby, can the baby? Um... T-Rex can step back. <laughs> he steps back and goes for another plant. Triceratopses have peace and quiet munching on their nice peaceful plants. T-Rex walks away. Sad. The Ankylosaur senses danger. It reacts <laughs> in that swaying motion of the club. <laughs> that club is deadly. <laughs> the T-Rex goes back to its carcass. And the Ankylosaurus deserves some victory. He has to do it. As he eats very happily, well, not happily, for not successfully in the Triceratops battle or the Ankylosaur battle. But what about the next day? He might win it. The Ankylosaur is going back to his spot. He is tired of battling that T-Rex. But is he tired enough? Could be, or could he not? 
because you see that this same castle is more than just a lazy old priest or a cow. He is like an armored tank on legs. He goes out again. This isn't um, a prehistoric lazy cow because it has the power to fight off T-Rex. Monster ready to bring down a herbivore. <laughs> Getting the arm is hard. Why do you want to scoot? A broken leg. See, I told you he wasn't a prehistoric lazy cow. But the biggest dinosaur battle ever to walk the earth will happen in minutes. Introducing Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and an Ankylosaur, Mongolia, in the desert. Tyrannosaurus. Triceratops and prehistoric lazy cows like Ankylosaur. But was it really a prehistoric lazy cow? Because it does have armour designed like a bulletproof vest because that is so strong that it's almost impossible to bite through it. Not that club, I think it's made of rock or the same tech as the armour. That was a nice one. So, let's start the battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have done, gathered the, we have done the evidence. We have tested the theories. And now, we can reveal the titanic confrontation that, w that would have happened like this. 65 million years. With one baby down, when this guy bites the horn. Mm -hmm. This baby finds some cover. Mm. I done it off. Mm. Stabbed, if you didn't see. Hours later, when the wound was healed, when the wound was healed, he goes out more hunting. The T Rex, its final victim for this day, is Ankylosaurus. Sense is danger. <laughs> Gets ready. He just got his club. He's just biting the armor. That is, if he bites it anymore, he'll break his teeth. The Ankylosaur runs away. Old T Rex can be chased. It's 
see the bulbous club coming out. The last smash. This T Rex is essentially a dying device. <laughs> It seems an Kylosaur was pretty much not a prehistoric lazy cow, after all. But is this really a true battle? Well, we have evidence that it could, might be true. Thank you for watching our video. The, the end. end.